Uh, the saddest thing about it was it was expected. I mean, what did we think really? We said against Norwich after that game that we didn't expect to come here and get it. We're just up against the miles better team and they knew it. The worst bit about it was actually the second half. They just went, go on then, what have you got for 20 minutes? And completely took the foot off the pedal. And all they did then was just wait for that little moment, bang, counter-attack, goal, game over. I cannot think, I mean, I posted out at half time. I went, uh, no shots, not one on target, not one actual attempt, 7-1 uh, in corners. And I don't think, because my signal went in there then, I don't think second half we actually managed a shot on target, because everything we did it, it was already offside, uh, because we're useless up front. I don't think we actually challenged Allison. So officially, I don't think Allison had a save to make. Now, you can say Liverpool are a better team, yes, like I just did, but to not actually lay a glove on them, not lay a finger on them, is something else. And that's 9 0 on aggregate against Liverpool. We said before the game, I said before the game, is it not enough that this is going to be the worst season ever in the Premier League for Manchester United, points wise? Is that enough to go forward? No, not for these players, it's not. Because quite clearly, there after what 10 minutes I've seen Pogba hobbling off I don't know how bad the injury is it just didn't look like he wanted to be there and I may be being harsh there but that's how a lot of United fans are thinking right now uh, so we got one player coming off after six minutes uh, for another player both of them don't want to be at the football club made it quite clear that they don't want to be at the football club so that kind of sums up everything you need to know about Man United right now I put a picture out with 10 minutes to go there the away end was empty I was at Leicester earlier on this season, similar sort of thing. No United fans left in the end. This is how bad it is, this is how bad it's got. This is Liverpool against United. This is supposed to be the biggest game in world football. It's a training exercise for Liverpool tonight. This is a team here that's got game after game after game after game. And I said this in the preview, I said this in the road trip, but Liverpool have got two games a week, two games a week. And this football club are actually moaning and bemoaning the fixtures that we've got to play Chelsea next week now in a midweek game. It's 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 putting the integrity of the top four chase in. Oh my God! It's putting that at risk. Are you absolutely taking the piss or what, Manchester United? We've had two and three week spells off this season. The players have had three holidays already, and you're moaning about having two games in a week. <laughs> Oh, good God. Oh, if you don't laugh, you'll cry with this football team. You really will. It's just got to a stage now where it's like, I said at the start then, didn't I? We expected it today. But it's it's one of them now where you look at it and go, we need, what, 10 points from the last, what, five games we've got now? Arsenal Saturday, Chelsea next Thursday. I can't see us getting one point out of that, honestly. One point at best. It's officially now, looking at that, if we take that into consideration, it's going to be the worst season in Premier League history for Manchester United. Someone said to me, does it get any lower? Can you get any lower than that? No, you really can't. There's only one way up from here. Uh, well, there's only one way to go from here, sorry, and that is up. Because this is probably the worst season we're ever going to have. I think we've just nailed it down there in terms of the games we've got left. It is officially going to be the worst game. Worst season we've ever had. I just don't see a way out of this. I don't see this season now any of these players actually putting on any sort of effort, changing any sort of mindset. I mean, it's bad enough being done, what was it, 6 1 in aggregate against City, 9 0 in aggregate against this lot. Not actually getting, I can't remember who's having a shot even in the first game against Liverpool. Not a shot tonight again. And I said, if Liverpool smell any negativity, Liverpool smell any sort of fear of this United team, they would go and absolutely annihilate us. Well, they did. They put us to bed because we're not going to score three goals after they got two. So the game was over officially after the first half again. And then they just picked us off in the second. It was easy. I think our best player on the part tonight was probably Sancho when he came on. Looked like he had a bit of drive. I said to uh, Graham, I said, sadly, there's one thing you've got to take from this game. It's as bad as it's got with Man United right now. That was Rashford's best performance. And he was shit. He just wasn't us a shit. That's, that's, that's what we're clinging on to. Mengi coming on. Yeah, it's good to see. Good to see. He nearly, nearly got himself sent off. I mean, I didn't see a tackling anger or a frustrated player or lashing out or putting anything in, a yellow card or anything like that until Rashford. And that was, what, about three minutes to go? The only player to actually lash out out of all that. Where's, where's the integrity? Where's the, where's the drive? 
Where's the anger? Where's your self-pride? It's just non-existent. I like you just want to roll over. The only thing that will hold on to there was the fact that this time in Merseyside, Merseyside, they actually, well, I'd say about seven or eight of them came over and clapped the fans at the end. The fans that were left because about a thousand had gone. And I'm not kidding you, that was about as many seats that were empty in that away end come 10 minutes to go, including injury time. I put the picture out there. I mean, this is as bad as it gets. United fans looking around like, where the fuck is everyone? This is Liverpool against Man United. With 10 minutes to go, we'd given up. I suppose it's not as bad as half the stadium leaving at half time at Old Trafford. But you see the common theme here, it's gone through all this season. I don't even know what the goal difference is right now. It's embarrassing. What is it? Plus three, something like that. What do we need to do? Well, we need, to see, we need the season to finish so we can see the players that really want to be at this football club. That's the only hope we've got. We're looking at, and we, we pretty much ripped the season off, or the players did when the new manager came in, Ralph Ranić. They've thrown him under the bus completely. And again tonight, you can see him frustrated on the sideline. Players not paying attention, not listening to instruction. There were simple things that they could have done to avoid pretty much all of the goals, but basic football seems to have avoided all of these players now. They've just forgotten how to be basic and do the simple things. It was like a typical moment in the second half was a brilliant ball from Bruno Fernandes and then a poor cross from Sancho. One bit of good followed by two bits of crap. That's pretty much what we are and consistently nothing, absolutely nothing. I mean, what, in the last 10 games, I can think of what, that win against Tottenham, the win against Norwich, which was the Ronaldo show. I don't think he'd have made a difference tonight, to be honest. Not a chance. Uh, I just want to finish by sending my personal condolences and everyone else is on the United stands too, Ronaldo and his family. Uh, there are more important things than football, uh, obviously, but right now in terms of Manchester United going forward, uh, the end is close, thank you, thank God. Five to go. Some tough games coming up as well, like, but I don't know, this is... It's not the worst game I've had this season. I mean, they've had some shit, haven't they? I'm, I'm rolling in now. What have I got left? About, what, three away games to go. Uh, it's nearly done. I've nearly got through my worst season ever. Uh, this one, in terms of up there, was hard to take. But because it was expected, it's probably not as bad as a lot of the others. And that's just a sorry state of affairs that we're in right now. But that's that. Guys, cheers for watching. Sorry that you had to sit through that. I feel sorry for me that I've had to sit through that and now sit through Merseyside traffic again. But that's that. Cheers for watching everyone. Like, share and subscribe as always. We're going away laughing because there's nothing left to do. We'll be crying otherwise. See you later.